Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and from boxings.com. Here I am with another white box product from HTC. This time it is in actual fact the HTC HD7. At the moment here in the UK the HD7 is an O2 exclusive, you can only get it on O2. In actual fact all of the Windows Phone 7 handsets are exclusive to carriers rather than being available SIM free. So a quick unbox for you. So obviously the handset itself we've already seen. We then have a USB to micro USB sync charge cable. We have the HTC mains adapter which uh, has a USB connector on the top and then this switches over you can just unplug that and uh, swap that to UK obviously that's a European plug headphones we've got the foam covers and the actual headphones themselves which are a four pole three and a half mil jack on one end with a length of cable and somewhere here in the middle we have the actual microphone, which is an inline microphone with a series of push buttons for answering and hanging up the call, play and pause when you're using it for audio, and uh, also skipping your tracks backwards and forwards or jog backwards and forwards. And then headphones on the other end, which aren't bad. Um, they're pretty decent sound, but they're not proper sort of full in ear style, but uh, not bad nonetheless. However, you know, because we do have a three and a half mil jack, use our own headphones, so I suspect most people will. So let's take a look at the handset itself. On the front, well, it's dominated totally by a 4.3 inch display, very much the same as the HTC HD2. Um, in fact, uh, same size and very much similar design. Uh, if I just bring that in next to it, you can see the HD2 is extremely similar. It's slightly smaller, the HD2, but in terms of the actual sort of styling and design, there's not a lot to choose between them, and weight and everything else is very similar. Obviously, this is running Windows Phone 7. Uh, so underneath we have the three uh, obligatory uh, soft keys or buttons. We have a back button, a Windows button and a search button. Uh, on the left hand side, absolutely nothing at all. Completely void of any buttons or controls. On the bottom there is a 3.5mm headphone jack, a micro USB connector and a little hole which there is the microphone. And then over on the right hand side we have a dedicated camera button and an up and down volume control. And then finally on the top we have the power button which uh, see power on and also into an out of sleep mode. On the back we have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with dual LED flash and an unusual feature which is this little kickstand. So uh, and that's quite neatly integrated into the back there design wise. So that little kickstand will allow us to actually stand it, well should it allow us to stand it on a desk basically like so, so we can actually use it to watch movies and stuff like that, so that is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's, as I say, that's nicely integrated on the back. Uh, the back cover removes like so, so it's, uh, a fairly, it's just a plastic back cover, and the battery is underneath, here like so. Um, it's 12, 1200 milliamp hour battery, or 1230 milliamp hour battery, so it doesn't seem all that large, the battery capacity for such a large handset. SIM card is here, and unlike all the other Windows Phone 7 um, handsets, there is no external memory card socket, so you can't expand the memory. You are stuck with what you have when you buy the handset. Kind of like the iPhone, I guess, um, but that's the way it is with the uh, Windows Phone 7 handsets at the moment. So let me just power on, and while I wait for that to start, run down the specification. Quad band for GSM, dual band for HSDPA. DPA, it will roam most countries. Dimensions 122mm from top to bottom, 68mm wide, and just over 11mm thick. Weighs 162 grams, which isn't too bad. Um, its size does mean it doesn't feel as heavy as perhaps the um, specification itself, the numbers sound. Uh, it has an SLCD display, which most of the HTC handsets are now having. It's uh, comparable to AMOLED, um, although it's apparently a little less battery thirsty than AMOLED, so that's pretty cool. It has proximity sensor, an ambient light sensor, and also an accelerometer, which uh, well, will work when we actually start properly. Uh, Dolby surround and SRS sound enhancement through the headphone socket on the bottom, which is excellent. And there are two versions available, 8, me 8 gig or 16 gig. They also both have uh, 512 mega ROM and 576 mega of RAM and a 1 gigahertz processor. Uh, 1 gigahertz processor is essential for Windows Phone 7 apparently as well. 
The camera will record 720p video. Uh, Geotagging is uh, possible also because we do have a built-in GPS uh, with a GPS support, Bing Maps and all that kind of stuff. Bluetooth 2 with A2DP support and uh, Wi-Fi supporting a 0211 b G and wireless N standards which is excellent also. HSDPA is only up, well is I say only, it's 7.2 megabits per second up download um, as opposed to the 14.4 but uh, still not too shabby at all. So let's uh, take a quick look, let's go through the get started and we'll set up in English obviously and we'll accept and we use the recommended settings choose the time zone and we'll just accept all the defaults there we go, sign in with Windows Live, well not now we'll skip that for now and it'll go through here and it'll just install a few applications, there's a little progress uh, bar at the top not know if you really make that out, it's a series of little moving dots not the most easy thing to see but it takes a, a minute or two for it to just uh, install all the applications and everything else because this is the first boot um, since a sort of a hard reset if you like. So I'm not the first person to review this handset. Here's a PR model out um, from our friends at O2. So there we go, that's all set up. And there we go, we've started up. So we have our tiles, which uh, obviously is very familiar under Windows Phone 7. Uh, so we can actually make a call, brings up a dialer call history. Uh, with our numbers and everything else, so that's fine, straightforward, and obviously it makes sense to make like the first icon. Then you've got your messaging and email set up. People here uh, would include like f uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter uh, activity. You've got the HTC Hub, which we'll take a look at in a second. Internet Explorer, Xbox Live Games, Calendar, and Pictures, Zoom, Marketplace, Sound Enhancement, Stocks, and Settings. If I just pop into Settings, and we'll turn the Wi-Fi on and we'll connect to a network and while I'm doing that you can actually see the keyboard it's a very large keyboard obviously because we have a large display and being capac uh, capacitive touchscreen does work quite well if I rotate it does bring up a larger version of the QWERTY keyboard although it's switched into there we go QWERTY keyboard so it's nice and large that you can actually access it with uh, your thumbs or possibly even you know, a couple of fingers on the screen there so let's just connect so I did start and stop the recording here as evident by the time we are now connected to the wireless network uh, but it did take a number of attempts but nevertheless let's take a look at the HTC hub and that loads up there we go, nice little bit of animation and so it presents us with something that is akin to HTC Sense effectively on some of the Android handsets with the clock at the top here my location is not actually updating at the moment um, probably because I'm indoors and not able to get a clean GPS signal and updating the featured apps um, connection wise um, I'm connected over broadband and having an absolutely uh, terrible time of our internet connection uh, it's always quite poor but it's been exceptionally poor over the last few days because of the bad weather believe it or not so uh, there we go that would actually load with the featured apps we're going to the HTC hub stocks and photo enhancer where we can get more applications uh, and we can go forward through here and it would give us all the featured applications uh, Sound Enhancer, Converter, Love, uh, Games, Bejeweled, Sims 3, Uno HD and uh, kind of back to the beginning that sort of effectively scrolls round and round but you get the idea, so that's quite neat uh, say People uh, is Facebook and Twitter you get your email set up here and obviously you can set up Xbox, uh, Windows Live, Outlook, Yahoo Mail and all these other ones actually have like wizards so you can set them up um, setting up Outlook with Exchange is pretty straightforward just ask you a few questions and uh, if you've got a, an Exchange server that supports it uh, you can just do it by putting in your email address and password um, or else uh, you have to put in obviously the server settings and a few other bits and pieces but email setup is pretty straightforward under Windows Phone 7 it has to be said uh, you've got your Xbox Live and Calendar Calendar is quite, uh, quite a nice feature especially with this large screen you've got your agenda view or you've got your day view like that and as I say because it's got such a generous display it does make it quite nice to actually use the calendar and we go back out of here we've got pictures so we can demo some photos and we click all of them 
and there's a few on here already just as samples as you get with basically every Windows Phone handset so you can see there it's okay it's quite cool the display is really good I mean I do like these SLCD displays I think they're you know, really very good they are um, comparable to um, AMOLED frankly uh, push the button on the side takes us into kind of what was more like a main menu so you've got alarms, calculators, calendar, camera, you've got your connection set up uh, Internet Explorer maps which effectively Bing maps Zoom, music and videos, office, uh, phone, photo enhancement, a few other bits and pieces, pictures and settings uh, just other ways of getting into here when you install other applications they will appear in this list so um, that's pretty cool um, so take a quick look at the maps and allow my current location so the maps load up and you can use two fingers to sort of scroll and zoom around and that will take a little while just while it picks up my location which obviously isn't doing so just yet um, but that's loading ok and come back out here let's see if we can get anything with the browser it initially wants to go to htc.com so let's try our site That seems to load quite quickly, but is it going to finish? Yeah, there we go. So the page lays out quite well. Uh, 800 by 480 by 800 display is uh, going to do quite a good job, I would think, with this. So it's working quite nicely. Again, two finger zooming, double tap to zoom in, and then we do have you know nicely rendered text. It works quite well, obviously we rotate the handset. Display will also rotate to suit. And it updates, there we go. And that's completely usable. I mean even this small text at the side on this display is rendered really quite nicely and it's completely legible. It's all albeit small, but it's completely legible. All the you know, banners and things like that are animating as the, as you would expect. So it's working quite nicely. And come back out of here and we could also take a look at the marketplace, we have to actually sign in to get into the marketplace which we'll not bother with for now and then here we've also got the cam camera and we'll allow the camera to use our location just find something to take a picture of Again, not the most interesting, but being colourful, it does give an idea. So we've got camera button on the top. A quick snap, and it's just a quick snap, obviously. When we come to do the full review, we will obviously take a lot more photos, sample photos. We can go in the photo enhancer if you want to. We can them that way, we can choose a picture to enhance. which seem to make that hang, so let's have a look at it through the pictures, through pictures here move that one out of the way let's have a look at all, and the camera roll and a little snap that I just took, obviously it's just a quick snap I should rotate, there we go yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy, not very well focused, but again it was only a quick snap, so we'll take some more photos when we do our full review, and we'll put them in line with the full review anything else in here that we want to take a look at? Well we could sign into pictures if we wanted to, stocks, music and videos if there's anything already installed so there's nothing, there's no sample music unfortunately messaging and marketplace maps we've already seen so I guess that's a very brief demo of the HTC HD7 it's actually got the largest screen of all the Windows Phone 7 handsets at the moment and also the most memory so it's pretty cool so exclusive here in the UK to O2 I suspect at some point in the near future it's probably going to be made available sim free possibly on other networks we'll have a full review for you over the next week or so and probably some more demo videos when we actually get some more applications installed in the meantime if you want to follow us on twitter it's twitter.com slash tracy and matt or on facebook facebook.com slash tracy and matt .co .uk. i'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracy and .co .uk. but for now thanks for watching Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.